Since the last version 3.022, you can download and create your own command bar plugins. And in this video, I want to show you a couple of those plugins and how you can create them yourself. So first of all, what is a command bar plugin? You can open the command bar as usual with a command J and you had the quick switcher here and you could search through nodes. But now you can also launch commands which are coming from a plugin. If you type the slash, it will show you automatically all the available commands from all the plugins you have downloaded. And with those plugins, you can change your nodes or you can create a new node and so on. So they will help you with your workflow. How can you download them? So once you updated the version, you will see a new tab in the preferences called plugins. So if you click on this, you will see initially a download button. Now I've already downloaded the other plugins. Let's download this one. But before we download it, you can expand it and you can see which commands come with this plugin, what the commands are like NC, it will count all the nodes or WC will show you the word count. And we can have a look on, at another plugin like Task Creeper can move your open tasks from the past or from or reschedule the task from project nodes into today's node. And I will show you those two plugins in this video. So let's download this. Now we can close the preferences and then hit command J and then try WC enter and it will show you the characters in this current node. So like we have eight lines of text, we have 21 words, 111 characters. Let's try another, which is TC, it shows the task count of the current node. Three tasks, all open, no scanned, scheduled, no, none closed and so on. So if I close this one, type again TC, you see one is closed now. Okay, let's have a look at another plugin, it's TSP. Uh, shows task statistics for project nodes. So this will scan all your project nodes and show you some numbers. You see, so I have 1,221 project nodes and they are 53% done. The nodes of most of the tasks. Okay, this plugin just shows you information, but there are plugins which can, which can also help you create new content like INT. So with this plugin, you can add uh, tasks to your inbox node. I have already created the inbox node. Now I can type something like read website, and then hit enter and I don't need to switch to this node now anymore. I can just create it and it's added now. I can go sometime later and check it out. Here it's created and you see it added here the read website. One more plugin I want to show you in this video is the task sweeper first in the preferences. So here's the task sweeper and it has two commands. One is to move all the tasks from the current node to today and the other one is for rescheduling from multiple nodes interactively to today. So this will scan your project nodes and your daily nodes for open tasks and or scheduled tasks which are in the past and then reschedule them into today's node, WS, uh, SWA. And then you can select which time frame you want to reschedule nodes, like from the last seven days, for example. And then it will ask you if you want to process the project nodes first and opens the node which where it found an, a task which is uh, scheduled in the past, in the past of the last seven days. So now I can say yes, reschedule, then it will update the date of this task here uh, to today, or I can say skip this node. So it will do, it will open every node where it could find an open task and then ask you. So I can, for example, skip it, and then in the next step, it would um, scan your daily nodes. You can say okay, and then it's done. And then we have uh, rescheduled all the tasks. Okay, this is how you can use them. Now, how can you create them? So how are they written? The command bar plugins are written in JavaScript. You can create them yourself and add them to the plugins folder and they will be immediately available here. So where is this plugin folder? Open the settings and plugins. And then here's a button for to open the plugin folder and you will see it is in the in no plans sync location. So there are also your normal nodes, your calendar nodes, filters and themes and you see every plugin has a plugin folder and inside this folder there is a JavaScript file and there is a JSON file for the configuration. And in this plugin JSON and the con configuration file you also have the com available commands defined and in the script file you have all the JavaScript code which is launched by NodePlan. If you want to read about how to create those plugins and the API you can just click on learn more about plugins and opens the help center. And in this help center, you see, uh, you can scroll down and at the bottom you have the JavaScript plugin API. And here are all the global objects which are available. 
and with each global object like the editor you have the variables and functions like you can access the node you can access the content the title you can select lines you can open a node by title and so on and you can query all the cached nodes for example with data store you can get all the folders all the calendar nodes all the project nodes and so on okay i hope this video was helpful enjoy the plugins